Hello everybody and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I will start a new series of video in AutoCAD with objects in our everyday life. But in this tutorial I will show you step by step how to draw this bar chair. So let's start. You already know that before every single drawing the units are very important. So in order to set them correctly we will type the units command and we will press enter. For our case millimeters are just fine and then we will press ok. But we will need some points as well, so in order to be sure that everything is right, type also these settings. Here we need also these commands in 2D space, but also those ones in the 3D space. And after we selected them, press OK. And now we are ready to draw. Let's go first of all in the 3D space. Let's change also here into modeling and we will start to construct in this plan XZ. But you know already that in order to make a 2D drawing in a 3D space, we need to have XY axis. So we will go in the front plan, click here, we will press use yes and we will choose view. Let's construct now two lines. So write line command, we will start straight from the origin. So in order to do that, we will write 0, 0, and now we are able to go. Don't forget to have the auto command active, it is very important. Now let's construct a line with 217.5 units in our case centimeters, enter, zoom out and another line of 282.5 units, press enter and then escape. Now let's construct three lines, so write line command, it doesn't matter the point, from where we start, 440 units. The second line, just 60 units. And the last one, 40. This one will place it in the middle. So select it, move command, pick up the middle, this green triangle, and place it here in the origin. This one, we will put it exactly between these two segments. So move. Okay, and here it is. And the last one, also the same. Now let's construct another one. So line starting from here until here. Let's construct now an arch. So let's go here to draw arch start and direction. For the Windows user you have this command right here. So start and, and now the direction. Be sure you have the ortho command active, I repeat. Now let's apply the fillet, air from radius to 100. Construct now another line, starting from here, a line of 170 units and a line here back. This drawing, copy it and copy it in the other side and write 1000. And here let's delete the extra lines. So those ones, this one, and select both, apply the trim command and delete this part. Select the entire drawing and press join to have one single boundary. Now we will use the revolve command. Okay, enter, revolve axis, 360 degrees. Let's have a short look. So go with the 3D space and you see it already. Good, but now let's come back. Select these three lines and apply the join command again to have one single boundary. Now copy this one in the other side as well. 1000. And let's use the press pull command. And write 500. Let's put this piece in the middle. So select it, move command and move it with 250 units. Now let's apply the subtract command, but let's change here the view style again. Okay, subtract, select this part, enter and select the second part because the first piece, it is the piece from where we will cut actually and you can see it now, much clearer. Now let's come back at the top plan, okay, and now we will draw a sphere. So write sphere starting from the origin so we can write easily 0, 0 again and our sphere will have the radius of 200 units. Now let's construct another two lines. So line command starting from here, doesn't matter the size. And now let's move it. So move with 50 units. Now let's apply the slice command. So select the object, enter, let's draw an axe. 
and again. Okay, let's have a short look. Good. Now let's move the solid in the right side again. Move 1000 units, subtract again. You can delete, by the way, this triangle. Subtract. And here it is. Now to add some roundness, let's apply the fillet edge command. Air from radius to 100. And we're looking for this, yes, this one. Enter, again enter. Okay, and here you see it. We must apply it for three times. So we have two times more. Fillet edge, air from radius, 10 units. This one and the interior one. Enter, again enter. And inside, fillet edge, air from radius 40. Good. Watch closely. And double enter. And here it is. Our seat is prepared. Now let's go back at our 2D sketch. You can select this extra part and you can easily delete it. Now our task is to draw in this plan, in XZ plan. So you know the rule already. We'll go here at this plan, switch it, use yes and view. Here we need to draw a circle, so right circle, let's start from here, from this point, and our radius it will be 40. Now it is the time to copy this circle, so copy command, and we'll copy it for several times. Copy, ok, 30, enter, now 35, now 290, and 300. And there is another one, 365, and press now escape. Let's go to each of those. So let's start with the second one. Double click on it. And here at the properties, we will change. So the radius, it will be now 35 instead of 40. The next one. 30. Next one, 30. Thirty five and the last one two hundred. To have like a backup copy, select the circles except the larger one and copy it in the other side, for example here, with one hundred units. Now it is the time to apply the loft command. So right loft. Select the circle, select the second one, enter, enter. Now let's move it in the other direction. So move 1000 units. But let's go in the other side here and let's apply the fillet edge again. Air from radius 1. Okay. Let's copy it, this one in the other side. So copy command, 100, loft again, enter, fillet edge, air from radius one and select this row. Okay, enter, enter. Now select the solid, move with 1000 units again. Copy this one back. And now we will apply the press pull command. And write 255 units. Select the solid, move it in the other side, write 1000. Again here we will apply the loft command. And 
enter move copy this one back 100 let's apply now the loft command double enter and here you see we have a small arrow so go to normal to end section okay now we will move it as well 1000 okay so our chair is pretty much done but now we need to construct another line so go here right line start a line from this center until here and now except of that line you can delete everything also this line now let's move the origin but we'll move the origin exactly in the center so move origin only and place it exactly in the middle of this line good now you can delete also this line let's go again at this plan at top plan Now it is a time to draw two circles from this point. So right circle 0, 0, 0,0 to start straight from the region 150. Again circle 0, 0,0, 0 again and right just 10 units. Now let's start from the region with a line. So right right command 0, 0,0, 0 until you reach this point, this quadrant. Rotate to rotate the line. This one it will be the rotation point and right minus 10. To have the same line in the other direction, we will apply the mirror command. Select this line, enter this one, it will be the mirroring line, erase source object, no. Select this circle and these two lines and let's apply the trim command. Yes, fillet, not fillet, I just fillet, air from radius 30 units. Again, we'll do it the same thing. And now select this entire boundary and let's make one polyline. So use the join command again. Let's go in the 3D space. Select this little circle, 3D rotate now. Like the red one. Escape, okay. Now let's rotate again. 3D rotate, the blue one, minus 10. Here you see, sweep command now, okay, enter, and now the path, this one it will be, enter. Now let's move it in the other side. So move command with 1000 units. Let's have a look. Change it here into parallel. Good, and now for the final step, let's add some materials. So you can write also material or Mad Browser open. For example, let's select the aluminium, but go here first of all and change into realistic. Now, for example, let's choose the polished. Okay, double click on it. Okay, and for this part, we will add ceramic, for example. So go here at ceramic and let's add, for example, blue or you can add another type is up to you. You get the idea. And now in this way, you know how to draw a bar chair in AutoCAD 3D. I hope this video helped you, if you have questions don't hesitate to let them in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and see you next time.